and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us for our Business Career Cafe. Um, coming to you live from Montana State University Billings University campus. Uh, my name is Brittany Smith and I'm a new student specialist here at the university campus. And I'm Curtly Schumann and I'm the Associate Director of Student Services on our City College campus. So a little bit about what's going to happen today. Uh, we have a few videos with some of our faculty from both the university and city college campuses talking a little bit about our business programs. Um, and we'll be talking a little bit as well just about MSU Billings um, and a little bit of where we're located. If you have any questions, there is a chat feature. Um, it should be a little like chat icon up in the right hand corner just close to the screen that you're probably viewing this on. And we have people there. So if you have any questions about either campus, any of the programs, or just what to do next, you can throw those in there and someone will jump in and help you out. Uh, so to get us started, MSU Billings or Montana State University Billings. We were founded in 1927. We're located here in Billings, Montana. Um, five colleges across two campuses and we have over 4,000 students enrolled in numerous programs. Um, additionally, we um, love to talk about our faculty to student ratio, uh, one faculty to 14 students, um, which is pretty incredible, especially for a state university. Um, so that means you're really getting some awesome hands-on um, opportunities in the classroom and easy access to your faculty to ask any questions that you might have. Um, our average class size is about 23, so that factors in some of the smaller programs, um, as well as some of those like bigger lecture hall classes, but 23, again, not a bad number. 88% um, of our faculty hold um, the highest degree in their field. So all of our classes are taught by our faculty. We don't have any grad assistants teaching our classes. Um, and so you get access to um, experts in the field um, in each of the classes that you take. Um, so that's a really neat opportunity that we have here. Um, additionally, on the university campus, we have two residence halls, uh, Petro and Rimrock Hall. So um, if you're coming in as a first year student, you can expect to live on campus here. We have over 50 student clubs and organizations across both campuses. We also sponsor uh, 16 NCAA Division II sports teams. Um, we're part of the Great Northwest Athletic Conference. Um, now that's always a touchy subject to bring up right now, but we do still have our sports teams. They're just not competing right now. Um, but we also have our intramural sports and recreational activities. Um, so those are some really neat ways to get connected, get plugged in, um, and continue to stay active, even if you're not looking to play on any of the team sports. Um, so Montana is big sky country. Um, now there is a show out called Big Sky, but that's not really what we're all about, but we are here in big sky country. Um, we have a population at last census, so that was the 2010 census, of about 1 million. So I'm hoping with this last one that we can, you know, see with the number going up just a little bit. But we do have two national parks and 55 state parks um, here uh, within the, the borders of Montana. Um, so, I mean, they don't call it big sky country for nothing. There's plenty of opportunity to get outside and see the stars and uh, camp and fish and hunt and all of those kinds of fun things, hiking, biking. Uh, we do also have eight federally recognized tribes and seven reservations here in the state of Montana, um, as well as we get the opportunity to experience all four seasons. Right now we're having second or third fall, I would call it. Um, it's snowed, but it's not here right now, so I'm living for that. <laughs> um, we also have a deep, rich history here in the state of Montana. There's so many ways in which we've taken part in U.S. history and all sorts of things, and um, just tons of really cool things to experience and learn more about. Um, so specifically here in Billings, this is the largest city in the state of Montana. Um, we have the largest school district. We have tons of internship opportunities. Two of the largest regional hospital systems are right next door, right behind the university campus, and we have three major refineries. So today, as we're focusing on 
our business programs, um, it's really important to know about those internship opportunities because all of our students participate in some sort of internship opportunity with the business degree programs. Um, and a lot of those have led to um, job offers. So, you know, what a great opportunity to learn a little bit in the field while you're still in school. And some, I think it was like 69 or 70 percent of our students have been offered a job through those internships or have a job right at graduation and then the numbers grow even more like a month out from graduation. Um, so to start, I mean this we've started, we've already been talking for a little bit, um, but our next couple um, opportunities are some videos. Um, Zach, one of our new student specialists, um, met with a couple of our professors at the University College of Business um, to talk a little bit about our different programs. So we do have a few different majors of study or programs of study in the College of Business. We have um, marketing and management as well as finance, accounting, and general business. So I think he is speaking with a couple people about finance and accounting specifically, um, but they can really give you a good idea of um, the opportunities that you have here at MSUB. Hi, I'm here with Professor Scott Gorman. We're just going to talk a little bit about what the business school has to offer here at MSU Billings. So, uh, Professor Gorman, um, where'd you? Wh what's your background? Where'd you start? Well, I'm actually was a non-traditional student and graduated from Montana State University Billings in May of 2019. So, came to school here in 2015. I uh, did my four years and got my degree in accounting uh, from this school and then graduated in May. Um, what are some of the things you've been doing the last the year or so here at MCB? Well, after I graduated, uh, ended up starting my own tax business. So I had my tax firm downtown. Uh, but I always knew when I went to school here that I wanted to teach on some level, whether it be at the collegiate level or high school or whichever, wherever I could be used, I wanted to try to get my foot into door in the door for that. And so uh, when the opportunity arose for me to come back and teach the same class that I took four years ago, I jumped on it. That's awesome. Um, what are some of the alumni up to or, or, or things um, of that nature? Um, Pretty much the sky's the limit if you have an accounting degree. And I tend to emphasize that uh, to my students, uh, the class that I teach, the principal accounting class, no matter what their major, they have to take it if they come through this, this college of business. But whether you're financing, marketing, the sky is the limit for what you can do. But what they come to understand is that without accounting as part of their fundamental knowledge, they won't. They struggle to be successful in their other disciplines. Right. So having uh, the accounting base is very important, and the alumni I think realize that too. There's a lot that will get a degree in, in business in one way and end up coming back to get their accounting degree uh, later on. But no matter where you're at, this definitely is the starting point. Well, I appreciate your time, um, Scott Gorman. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm over here with Dr. Doss in the school, the College of Business, and we're just kind of chatting about some things. Um, Dr. Doss, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what you teach here at uh, Montana State University Billings? Uh, I teach finance. I teach almost uh, um, all kind of finance classes, um, uh, both on the corporate finance as well as investment side. Cool, awesome. Um, so I guess what, uh, what types of classes specifically have you taught that kind of stand out um, that you'd want to let future students know about? Uh, well, the most interesting class that I uh, teach, and I find that students also find this class interesting uh, is investments mm -hmm. and a new class that we have also launched it's called financial modeling where we take all this uh, different knowledges and different concepts of finance from investments corporate finance uh, markets etc and then we ex uh, use Excel or other kind of modeling techniques to uh, to see how the numbers work and how to apply those knowledge in real life and using real data so those are the two very interesting class that I actually teach investments and financial modeling. I like what you said, you know, getting to see it in real time and then in the real world kind of scenario. I've, I've uh, I found out that, um, you know, a lot of our departments really have that hands-on in, in, um, in, in the real world kind of um, view of their classes. So that's yes, really so cool. one part that uh, we really cherish in College of Business is uh, most of our classes are linked to experiential learning. So it's like you just don't necessarily learn just the concepts and just the problems, etc. But we also look at the real life scenarios, real data, real problems, and how you can solve that. 
uh, using all the techniques that you have in your hand. And then lastly, what, what can this business degree, degree do for uh, a potential students here at MSU Billings? Yes, uh, it can open up a lot of opportunities, a lot of doors, not only in Billings, but also in uh, nearby places like Spokane or Seattle or uh, you know, Denver. Uh, they can go there and explore the opportunities. We have seen some of our alumni working there. Uh, you can also get jobs in uh, like banks, and investment banks in uh, uh, with the traders, uh, with the brokerage firms. Uh, we have seen people working in corporate finance departments of different uh, companies. Uh, they have also uh, done some sort of, uh, of uh, different kind of uh, uh, certifications like okay. CFAs, CFPs, mm -hmm. and they that really, really uh, shoots up their career to a different uh, altogether path uh, and also uh, they, some of them actually go for graduate studies. Oh. Uh, they, they, have, they have gone to some really, really good schools to do their graduate studies. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all the time we have, but I appreciate meeting with you and you meet with me and uh, Dr. Doss. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that was some good information. Now on to City College. City College o offers over 30 different academic programs that include certificates and associate degrees. We are very market-driven and flexible, responsive to regional employers' needs so we can help train their workforce appropriately. Um, we have a lot of hands-on opportunities um, for learning, which includes internships as well. Um, and we can, again, have some short-term training for more immediate entry into the workforce. So our City College business options include Accounting Technology, which is an Associate of Applied Science degree, and it really focuses on accounts receivable, um, payable, payroll accounting. We also offer Medical Coding and Insurance Billing, which is a certificate which can be completed in as little as two semesters. Um, employers would include hospitals, clinics, insurance companies, and there's also opportunity to work from home as a medical coding and insurance billing um, specialist, but oftentimes, those, oftentimes uh, that kind of opportunity would come with some years of experience in that realm. We also offer general business as an Associate of Applied Science degree um, that really focuses on marketing, management, human resources, accounting, entrepreneurship. Other business options through City College include Associate of Science, Business Administration, which is a great stepping stone to go from an associate's degree to a bachelor's degree um, in business administration through our MSU Billings College of Business. We also offer human resources in a variety of ways, two different um, associate degree options. One, two being a great gateway to the bachelor's degree in business through the College of Business. Um, and then we also offer human resources at a certificate level. So again, that certificate can be done in as little as two semesters. These programs are offered fully online with some of the courses having the option to be on campus. So next up, we are going to look at some videos um, from one of our City College instructors, Dr. Heather thompson Baim, um, who has been a joy for me to work with through the years and um, watching her interact with her students. Uh, so we're going to learn a little bit more um, from Dr. thompson Baim, And then we're also going to be hearing from Justin, who is a human resources graduate of City College and is currently employed by MSU Billings um, Human Resources Department. This is Heather thompson Baim, and she um, is going to share with us some information about uh, a couple of our key programs, our General Business Applied degree, as well as our Human Resource uh, program. So Heather, please give us some highlights about these two programs. Sure, thank you, Stephanie. Um, so these two programs, uh, I love these programs because of the accessibility of them. Both of them are actually primarily offered online, and sometimes there's a misconception with that, thinking that the teachers are not accessible, but that is not the case with our programs here. Um, the benefit of them being online is that it, it gives some freedom to our students, so you can still work, you can do all the responsibilities that a lot of our students have here at City College, but our faculty are still available. Um, we're here on campus, uh, several days a week, and then we also have office hours via WebEx, 
So we can meet with students virtually. Uh, you can make appointments with us in the evening, during the daytime, whatever works for your schedule. So that's pretty helpful. Um, can you talk to you a couple, you know, give us a couple of examples where some of our graduates have gone? Oh, absolutely. Um, specifically in human resources, we've had students that have gone and worked for um, oil companies. We've had students that have worked for local companies here um, with uh, government opportunities, uh, small businesses, large corporations. We've had students that have started here in Billings and continue with their education from City College to the university campus. They've started in Billings and then actually have worked their way up the corporate ladder and ventured onto other opportunities outside of the state as well. So it's it's like a, a building block of opportunities is what we provide and it's, it's a very exciting opportunity. Well that is wonderful information. Thanks for sharing that and we hope um, students will look into it further and if you have any other questions give us a jingle and Heather will help you out. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Today I am visiting with one of our graduates from our Human Resources um, program, and that is Justin Zappi. And Justin, um, first of all, let us know where you're working currently. I am currently working at MSUB in the Human Resource Department as our HR journalist. Well, that's wonderful. <laughs> so first, you know, first question I have for you is, why did you choose this field? What, what, what created the interest for you? Originally, actually, I was working in the healthcare field, and um, that was no longer a viable option. But I still wanted to help people in their day-to-day -day life, and I felt human resources was that great next step to make sure that I'm the guy behind the scenes making sure people are getting what they need so they can do their job properly. Well, that's wonderful. And so, um, how did you come about finding uh, that program at City College? And tell us a little bit about your experience while you were taking classes at City College. So I was a non-traditional student, um, actually I came back from living in Arizona and decided to just re, uh, start my education and noticed that City College had a great human resource program that I could do uh, online mostly so I could still go to work full time and go to school. Well thank you for your time, I really appreciate it today. Well thank you, you have a great day. Alright, thanks. That's so great. I really love these videos. I think that um, it's, I don't know, important to hear from faculty as well as some of our alumni and just some of the places that they can end up. I mean, of course, there's jobs here at MSUB, but what kind of opportunities there are um, as well um, in our like local area. So again, if you have any questions, please just throw those in the chat. We'll be able to help you out there. Um, one of the really neat things about MSU Billings and City College is our affordable, high quality education. So we have um, a lower tuition. Uh, you can check out our Montana cost comparative. It'll be on the website, um, our msubillings.edu. Um, and that really gives you an idea of how much it costs to attend here, either for a certificate program an associate's degree program or the four-year bachelor's degree program and a little bit of a comparison with some of the other schools across the state. Um, we do also have higher wage outcomes. Um, so our city college graduates are earning on average $5,800 more than, than the median across all two-year colleges in Montana and our uh, university graduates are earning on average 4,400 more than the mean of other four-year public universities in the state of Montana. Financial aid and scholarships, which can be a really important component for so many students attending college. The, the priority date for the financial aid application, otherwise known as FAFSA, was December 1. Um, however, it's not too late to apply, so financial aid is still available. So if you are going to be attending in the coming academic year, fall 2021, spring 2022, you want to make sure that you do that FAFSA application as soon as possible. Our MSU Billings School Code for FAFSA, as you can see, is 002530. Um, and MSU Billings also offers WUI, which is, stands for the Western Undergraduate Exchange. So for our out-of-state students um, from certain parts of the country, um, we do offer a uh, tuition break. Scholarship application. So the MSU Billings General Scholarship application is currently open for the coming academic year, fall of 2021, spring 2022. And the priority deadline for that 
is February 1st. And I do encourage everybody that plans to attend MSU Billings, uh, which again includes City College, to do the general scholarship application. We've tried to make it very user friendly, so it's one online scholarship um, application that can be submitted electronically, and then based on that one application, we can consider you for multiple opportunities. And there's a little bit of something for everyone in that scholarship pool. Brittany, can you talk about Yellow Jacket Excellence? Sure, so Yellow Jacket Excellence will be for our um, four-year university um, students, um, and that is offered just from your application. It'll be based on GPA and location. Um, so if you're applying from Eastern, Central, Montana, um, there's money in there for you. Um, and then we also have our Explore Montana Scholarship, which is, again, for our university students um, coming and looking at Montana from outside of that wooey kind of um, bubble. Uh, so just recognizing that the out-of-state cost for an, like for a state school can be a little bit pricier and so uh, trying to alleviate some of that as well. Now you've heard a little bit about the um, business program at both the university campus and City College and you may be wondering okay but like where do I go from here? What, are, what do I do next? Um, so some of the next steps that are available um, would be visiting us. Um, you can come to visit. We have virtual options if you know you are out of state or just travel isn't isn't easy or just seems a little bit eh, a little sketchy at this point. Understandable. We're here to try to make that as easy as possible. Um, but we are still taking in-person visits, um, and so we are happy to have you show you around campus, either campus, um, and really give you a little taste of uh, what MSUB and City College has to offer. Um, additionally, um, for those who do schedule a virtual or in-person visit and attend, uh, there is a prize for a $500 scholarship. Um, we do a drawing every month, um, uh, and so when you come and you attend, we'll put your name in a fishbowl, I can see it from here, um, and then we'll draw that. So we did have a winner for November, and it's now December, so we'll have a winner coming up um, by the end of the month as well. And if you haven't already, um, it's a really great opportunity to apply today, um, especially with those of us in the chat, we can answer any questions that you might have. But other than that, thank you so much for coming. It was really great to have you here. And I hope we answered a few of your questions or at least helped a little bit in understanding what is there to do with business at MSU Billings and City College.